In this video, I continue my conversation with marketing specialist Cheryl Lee Seckham. And today we talk about social media and the traps to avoid when using it to promote your theatre show. Let's go. This is the business of art. So what do you find are the biggest kind of resistances that creatives are having in doing that, that sense of putting themselves out there, telling that story, building that journey with the audience watching that? What, what do you find are people's biggest either resistances or struggles in doing that? It's an interesting question and one I've been thinking about a lot. And I think I've come to the conclusion that it's a misconception about what marketing is. And I think that's been influenced by social media over the last 10 years in what they're actually seeing and a lack of understanding. Creatives are very talented and skilled in their creative work. But when it comes to marketing, not so much. And so they believe what most other people believe as well, that vanity metrics on social media are real. And Define vanity metrics okay. for somebody that doesn't know The ones know that, that make that you means. feel good. So yeah. 120 people liked my photo, yeah. therefore I'm loved in the world. That's vanity metrics and that has little or no impact. Yeah. Um, you know, 10,000 followers on an Instagram account but they only get 50 people liking their photos means that the wrong people, they've either bought the likes. They the have followers. bought the likes. That or is what they, they've done. They've bought their followers. It's people that don't give a rat's about what yeah. they're doing. And so they're not ticket buying people anyway. Yeah. They don't care about you. The typical thing that I see that makes me smile, cringe all the time is you get uh, the, what is known as the Instagram influencer yeah. that doesn't add value to Now there's good influencers, but the typical one that does adds no value to the world. And they have, let's say, 25,000 followers worldwide. Um, that is photos of, you know, young 20 something female. Um, doing what she does during the day and her average like on a post might be 200. Then she'll post something of herself in a bikini and suddenly it ups to 500. Yeah. What do you think those extra 300 people are? Yeah, that's a really good point. So that people look, they find that creatives look at that, I don't want to be that. Well, you don't have to be that. Who says no. that marketing yourself has to lack integrity, has to not add value? In fact, if you are lacking in integrity, if you do things that don't have integrity, if you're things that don't reflect the value that you are as a person and a theatre company, they're not going to work anyway. Yeah, that's so People true. People see through them and they, you know, it's just, you know, it's, you feel like dirty after all. You, just, you can't do it. <laughs> you know, there are marketers out there that have given marketing a bad rap and given marketing a bad name. And, you know, we are, we have to take control of that ourselves. Mm -hmm. I, I totally agree with that. Yeah, it's interesting. And... I think there's, there's something in there that you talked about that I really connect with in that sense of social media influencers right now, they're absolutely having impact. They're absolutely having an effect and they can do good things for you. But I think it really does come down again to that. You kind of touched a little bit earlier on the sense of knowing why you're choosing that particular marketing strategy, that that particular influencer will have a connection with a particular audience. And that you need to make sure that the audience that is following them is the same audience that you need following you. Otherwise, it's pointless, mm. isn't it? Absolutely. And I think that comes down to um, a lack of planning, if you will, or lack of knowledge of how to actually market in the first place. What I find is um, that creators will go instantly to the tactics of social media because yeah. it's easy, it's right on their phone, and it, the tactics being... Um, what to post, when to post, hashtags, you know, all that. That's tactics. That's actually one of the bottom things, the last things that you're doing. Yeah. They've skipped all the steps beforehand which say, this is my goal, this is what I want to achieve in my marketing campaign or strategy. Yeah. This is what, the, these are the strategies I'm going to use to reach those goals. And then these are the tactics I'm going to use to make those strategies work. Yeah. So they start down here instead of up here and then wonder why they have no impact. And they're spending hours running their Instagram account and not getting the ticket sales from it. Yeah. I think that's really interesting that you're right because, you know, a lot of the social media accounts, well, the, the platforms rather, are set up on those vanity metrics and that, you know, psychologically you get a like, it releases a boost of good. dopamine, it makes you feel good, that's what you want more of. But it's that sense of awareness that awareness doesn't equal dollars. No. Awareness doesn't equal ticket sales and... When you're looking at that, that sense of you want a lot of people to become aware of you. This is my take on it. You want a lot of people to become aware of you, 
but then you need to focus and focus and focus that group down uh, until you find the people that are also willing to spend their money with you. Absolutely. And there's nothing dirty about that because people earn money and they want to be entertained. And if you can provide that, then that's great and you're doing your job and they're going to reward you financially for doing your job. That's right. But I think that's really important that that sense that it's not just about the likes, the likes don't pay the bills. There we go, some great information from Cheryl Lee in that video. A couple of big takeaways for me, the first one being that marketing is so much more than just advertising, that we want to maintain the integrity of our brand, our, our business, our company kind of personality through the show and through the production advertising as well. Don't jeopardize the integrity of your, your vision and your values and your personality while you're promoting your show. Number two, likes don't pay the bills, baby. That reminder that vanity metrics do not indicate the income that you're gonna generate from the work that you do. Don't discredit people that are joining your email list or signing up to your page or whatever um, that aren't yet ready to purchase. There's a lot of research that shows that people are interested a lot, lot sooner before they're ready to buy, and they might just need to take a bit more time to get to know you. That might take them six, eight, 12, 24 months before they're ready to commit their cash to the work that you do. So don't discredit those people, but don't just think that their presence and the likes are going to actually make you the income that you think uh, from that. So just, it's a great reminder. And number three, Influencers can work for you, but just make sure that the audience that you are going to connect to through that influencer is actually the same audience that you want and need for the work that you're doing. There is no point using an influencer who has a massive following that you think will get you lots of exposure when that audience that they have is nothing like the audience that you need to sell tickets to your show. So that's it, thanks so much for watching. If you got some value out of this, I would love it if you hit the like button, crush the subscribe button. And of course, if you found something of value in this video, there is a good chance that you will know somebody else who would also get some value out of it. So please share it with them, tag them in the comments, whatever you've got to do to pay it forward and help them out as well. Thanks very much, I'll see you next time.